What's up guys, JDC here, and today we're finally reviewing Halloween Ends. So Halloween Ends came out last year and marks the end of the David Gordon Green trilogy, or the end of this Halloween timeline, which spans from the first Halloween, 1978, Halloween 2018, Halloween Kills, and finally, Halloween Ends. The movie takes place four years after Halloween Kills. Michael Myers has not been seen since he killed all, that whole mob of people. And in between these two films, a kid named Corey Cunningham accidentally kills his kitty's babysitting for complete accident the whole town turns against him in a fight with some bullies aka the fucking marching band what the fuck but whatever he's knocked out and thrown over a bridge he's dragged into the sewers by michael myers and michael myers instead of killing him kind of sees himself in this kid in a way it's a bit of a weird scene they look they lock eyes at each other and michael can kind of sense that Corey's kind of like him in regards to the fact that there's evil behind his eyes I mean, that's the best I can explain it. And Corey Cunningham kind of becomes this copycat killer in a way. And Laurie Strode happens to kind of notice this in Corey's eyes and starts to come, become really concerned. It came out last year and I didn't get to see it last year. I got to see it actually a few days ago when I bought this Blu-ray. When this film came out, it's either you loved it or you hated it. There were a lot of people who liked it and there were a fuck ton of people who hated it. Now, where do I fall? I'm kind of in the middle. I don't hate this movie at all, in fact, I think it's pretty solid, actually. It's a solid ending to this Halloween timeline. Although Michael's really not in this film all that much, it's really more about Corey and about his journey. Now, what are my thoughts on the Corey Cunningham character? I think he's a pretty well-written character. A lot of people, I've heard a lot of people, like, kind of shit on him. I don't hate the character at all. I think he's pretty good. I think that Rowan Campbell did a pretty good job playing Corey Cunningham. Um, you do feel bad for him, like, the whole town turned against him for something that really wasn't even his fault. But honestly, they should have introduced Corey Cunningham and maybe Halloween Kills. It would have made a little bit more sense and it wouldn't have felt so sudden in my opinion. I'm fine with the Corey Cunningham character. It's just, to me, it doesn't really feel like it belongs in the Halloween series per se, because Halloween, it's always one guy, it's Michael Myers. This isn't like Scream where there's copycat killers and each movie is a different killer. Like, that's why it kind of like, kind of threw me off a little bit, but I, it was handled, it could have been handled a little bit better, but it was handled pretty well. If I'm being honest, it could have been handled slightly better, but it was still handled pretty well. I did actually feel bad for Corey. He's a pretty well written character. It's just, it feels a little out of place. And there's nothing against the actor. I think he did a great job of what he was given. And the character itself is a good character. It just feels very weird that it's in the Halloween series. Handled like as well as you can handle it. Michael does actually die. They, Lori and her granddaughter, Allison, cut his wrist, cut his throat, and then throw his body into an industrial machine. By the way, I meant an industrial metal shredder. Yeah, what? Into a car flat and it crushed his body to death. I give this film a 7 out of 10. It is not as bad as people are saying it to be. In fact, I liked it quite a bit. Do I think it's a perfect finale? No. Am I fine with it as a finale? Yeah. Do I like the Corey Cunningham character? I do, but it, do it feels a little weird in the Halloween series. However, I mean, they tried something new, I guess. I, and it wasn't handled, like, terribly. So that's why I can kind of forgive it. 